bite you, sting you, or stab you. If it doesn't, you just ain't home. These are nothing for super duper men. In 1957, Brazil crossbred their honeybees with honeybees from Africa because honeybees, European honeybees, did not thrive well in jungle environments that were prone to diseases and low yields of honey. So the Africanized versus the European, the Africanized produces up to two times as much honey, so will swarm up to 30 times a year, and are mean. Hi everyone, look at our new fire truck. Isn't it fun? Oh my god. Anyway, we're at this wonderful gal's house who is an eighth grade teacher. And so we're going to document her bees who are not nice. They stung her husband and the dog. Not good. And so uh, we have to get rid of them for them. And we're right in an old school neighborhood here in Sierra a beautiful place. And uh, yeah, we're going to go try to not rile them up too much. But we want to educate all the kids out there about these bees. Because all the bees in the state of Arizona are killers now. They're all genetically Africanized. Mean, mean, mean. So don't go messing around with them, kids. If you see bees, you stay away and have your mom and dad call us. Okay? Yeah, do that. So so anyway, someone has already been here and tried to mitigate this threat, which didn't work out too well, apparently. So look so right behind they? there, hon. Right behind, behind here? Yep. Yeah, careful. Okay. There oh. they are. Oh, there they are. Oh. That's, yeah, kinda, that's kinda pretty, huh? Them, huh? All right. Now, what we're going to do so we don't get them all over the whole dang neighborhood. How far does it go down? I don't know, but we're gonna find them halfway down the wall. We're gonna find their main. There's a hole. There's a hole. Yep. They're in the hole. Hole. That's the point. Yeah, the remnants are aggressive, huh? These bees are flying around right now because we stopped them in their tracks. Now, what we saw here when we first got going was those were all guard bees. That's a huge hive in there, and so there aren't normally that many guard bees, but there were in this case. Now. When you see that like that, that's not the whole hive. That's only a small part of it. A normal hive has 50,000 bees in it. That's just average. We, with these Africanized bees, we see them a lot larger all the time. So this could have been a lot bigger one. <clears throat> but they're all in these block, these cement blocks, which have holes, of course, in them. And they love to live in these. It's just a what a home, huh? Yeah, I tell you. And so we can't knock it down, can't get money, etc. We're going to seal up their doors. We're mitigating the threat. All right, we're making it safe for these people and all the neighbors to live here any time during the day when you'll, there will be two to 5,000 bees out working in the field. They come back. This is their front door. So when you see bees coming and going from a crack or a hole in a wall, that's the airport, not the city. That's the loading dock. All right, so you don't want to touch it. You don't want to go near it because those guard bees that were there, their only job is to perceive a threat to the hive which these days can be the color of your shirt. It doesn't need to be anything too exciting. That's how bad these things are. So we're sealing up their front door right now. We're gonna put as much expanding foam in here as we can so they can't get through. New ones can't get through. The hive that's in there is dead already. So, but we don't want bees, swarming bees, that are flying by to come and find a new home because it smells good in there. So now all these bees coming back from the field, you might want to get a close up of this hunt. Mm -hmm. They have pollen on their hind legs. When bees go out foraging, go to the store, right, which is literally what they're doing, they go out for one of four things. Yeah, everybody thought it was just honey. Well, it doesn't start out as honey. All right, it starts out as nectar that they collect out from flowers. All right, now, when they bring that back to the hive, then they turn it into honey. They also collect pollen, which is the little yellow and white and orange things on their hind legs. They have actual saddlebags. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Little saddlebags. And that's how they transport the uh, pollen back to the hive from the field. Now the nectar is inside. They have two stomachs. One is a honey stomach and one is a fragrant stomach. So they actually, uh, you're going to love this kids, honey is actually bee bark. So have at it. Yummy. And it is. So when they come back they bring nectar and pollen and also water and also, at certain times of the year, tree sap. In the, in the winter, they collect tree sap, at least around here, and they bring that back and they turn it into propolis, which is the glue that holds the hive together. So that's a little lesson on how the bees work and what they're doing. There'll, there will be a test, you guys, and whoever doesn't pass the test gets stung. So you just study, okay? Remember everything I said. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, 
if you see bees like this, don't go near them. You see how mean they are? Don't go near them. Okay? They're way too mean. You Even if it's win. just a few coming and going from a crack, right? Yep. Yeah, you might just see a few of them coming and going from a crack. Or their smoke, their fire. You cannot, you cannot risk it. You cannot do that. So stay away. And now what we do is we're going to use our special tools and secret recipes to knock down some of these remnant bees. So these bees coming back from the field are called remnant bees because they are literally remnants of the hive. And they're kind of like an amputated limb. You can live without your finger, but your finger can't live without you. So they're going to die off. So all of this expanding foam up and down the line, this stuff is great. It looks really ugly to begin with, but when it dries, you can just take a razor blade and cut it off. So it's really cool. Although I don't think there's been anyone in Cochise County ever that has ever trimmed it off. Anywhere you go around and see where there's this, I've been there. Except for this one. I, I think someone got stung doing that. What do you think? Yeah, I think they gave up. <laughs> so this is working really well, actually. This is actually working really well. Trying to seal up all the holes so that no new entrances are found. And I mean, you went quite a ways. I think that's good. Yeah, because there's, but he had, uh, you could oh. see, you could see bits of wax, and uh, apparently they have been in this wall a couple times. I believe it. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is probably well. You know, it's full. So now we're just trying to knock down. Now we this is our fourth job today. Well, three and a half actually, because Daniel and I did one this morning. We did one at the ranch, and then we opened up that trunk, and so this is three and a half. We'll call it. <laughs> anyway, um, I went at the ranch. Doesn't count. Hell, that was at home. That's so weird. They'll live anywhere. They don't. They don't know enough. Stay away from me. So our gloves are full of stingers and venom, and venom is what makes them go nuts, go goofy, and absolutely want to kill everything and everyone. So these bees flying around, we are the enemy, and when we leave, within a half an hour, there will be a ball of bees here, all right, and they will die off, all right, the remnant bees. But we're just knocking down, trying to get some of these aggressive ones gone, so the lady can let her dog out, and they can let their dog out, and they can come out in the yard, and all that good stuff. So we're just trying to make it safe for everybody. These are not our grandfather's honeybees, kids. All right? These are not our grandfather's honeybees. These are mean, and they do not belong here. They're invasive. So we're going to knock a few more down. Kids, remember, there will be a test on this. All right? So study hard or no honey. 